Oh, hello everyone. So I was looking online and I think I found solution to our problem here. So I can't believe I didn't think about this earlier, but there's actually a piece of land that would almost be perfect for us. This piece of land is actually really close to our property, it has buildings, it has silos, and it has a pig barn a giant pig barn so I think that would be a good business adventure so pig farms usually don't make it unless they're big and this pig farm is big so I think I need to go talk to the bank and see if they'll let us borrow the money let's get to it So an update on the Dodge. So I had the steering start pulling to the left again. So I took a look at it. I put it in the garage here and took a better look at it really thoroughly because it shouldn't have adjusted. So I looked at all the linkages, make sure nothing came loose. Uh, obviously Mike's garage insured it, but I just wanted to look at it underneath it myself. So while I was looking at it, I actually noticed that the frame is cracked back here, close to where the gooseneck hitch is. So probably when the cement truck wrecked into the vehicle, it just ripped that hitch right out and cracked the frame. Crap frames are not cheap, and usually it means they're ruined because you don't really want to weld a frame. It's not really structurally safe. It's not as safe to drive. It's not safe for anybody else driving on the road. I'm gonna try to find another frame to possibly put on this truck, but it's gonna be in this garage for a while. So I guess our Ford just got promoted. Oh well, kind of liking it lately. Update on our hunting, hunting success. Still haven't got a buck yet, so I'm still trying to look for one. It's a cold, brisk morning this morning. I think we're going to head up and go talk to the banker quick. Kind of surprised this dot, this Ford started right up. That Dodge usually didn't start on the first turn of the key, so kind of impressed with this uh, 7.3 uh, diesel so far. It's, this Ford is running pretty good need to slow down this uh, road gives me the heebie-jeebies right here I don't want to make sure there's no semi trucks because then things scare me an update on the theft so basically I'm gonna try to look around the farm after we get back from the bank and just see if there's anything more we can do to secure our equipment and our yard uh, a little bit deterred. I hope that we're not an easy target. I just don't want to be an easy target to these thefts around here. I'm pretty sure that they have the suspect in custody and they have found my semi. Uh, it's currently an impound. It's under investigation for getting uh, evidence for the court for the court proceedings. So basically I'm waiting for the investigators to grab all the evidence out of the semi and I should be able to pick it up at the impound lot. Of course, we have to stop by uh, Casey's there. The homemade to go. So we got our coffee. So now let's go to the bank. Anybody else get like butterflies in their stomach when they're going to the bank? I always do, so. It's always a little nerve-wracking, somebody judging your whole plan and project and then whether they say yes or no kind of judges on whether you get to do your dream or not. So I don't know what it is, but every time I have to go talk to a banker, I get some little butterflies in my stomach. This red light here, this is our bank, Wells Fargo. So, Pull over here, compose ourselves, try to get our best game face on, and let's go 
get this banker to say yes. Ooh, that was stressful. So we got the banker to say yes. Uh, the only issue is, is he wants us to sell some more wheat. Uh, and if you don't know, we already have three loads in the co-op. We're still waiting to pay out. So we got to sell a few loads of wheat. The only problem is our trusty old semi that I came to love just got uh, stolen because it had basically had a free sign on it for somebody. So we're going to have to use our uh, top kick truck and a little pup, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Sell that grain and hopefully we could buy our new piece of land. So as you see here, we started locking everything up. So we lock our gates up, lock all the trucks up. Shut this off here. So we'll open this up. And also I do inventory every morning of all my equipment. So looks like we should have everything. Yep, everything's there. Beastbine, are you here? Oh yeah, there you are. My beautiful international there. Alright, we're good there. Alright, so unfortunately they didn't take our bobcat, but... So now what we need to do is get our... Go over our top kit truck here. Make sure it's good running conditions. It's been a little while since we used it. We kind of winterized it and uh, left it alone, hoping that it would sell. So uh, go grab the key for this. Hopefully this thing will start. It's a cold morning this morning. Not quite freezing. Oh no. Oh. Not too bad. Started up the second one. Alright, seems to be pulling pretty good. So, no issues there so far. Uh, everything seems to be running good so far. So I'm gonna run over here get a load of grain we're not taking it to the co-op because we need an immediate payout this time we're actually taking it to the elevator so we're filling up with grain that front hopper is filling up quickly there all right now pull forward and get the back little pup There we go, it looks like it's full. Shut this girl off. So, looks like we overloaded the old girl here. So, might be a hard run to the elevator. We'll have to take it nice and slow. So we're running hard with this truck, it's too bad. Our uh, new Kenworth wasn't available, but oh well, this thing is a good backup, that's for sure. So we're making good time. Surprisingly, there is like no one on the roads right now, which is kind of a little spooky, if you would say. Over to the side here, that's where Jake's and Austin's uh, cow ranch is. Looks like it's doing good over there. I don't know if they own any of this land or not. If they do, I'm wondering why they planted uh, soybeans in winter. That's odd. Oh, we better slow down, make sure there's no cops. We don't need a uh, double speeding ticket there. Looks like they still have some of the equipment for that sale lot over there. A little city here, the city of Moore. Pretty nice. Really like it. That's our elevator up in front of us. So it basically goes football field, train tracks, 
Quaker elevator, there's another elevator, and then fairgrounds. We'll pull over here and see if they fixed their uh, scale yet or not. Nope, doesn't appear they did. Oh, yes they did. Uh-oh. Don't, don't look at that, it's reading a little high. We do not have that many bushels on here. That's that's definitely off. All right, so now we will start dumping. So dumping directly on the trailer hitch there, kind of odd. Dumping the front there, and then we will hopefully have enough weight to pull the pup over. Pull a little ahead there. All right, now the pump, pup is dumping now. So it's kind of nice having this pup there. A little bit better than a gravity wagon. You could definitely go at faster speeds. Let's see what we got. So about 12, so not too shabby, not too shabby. So what I don't like about this elevator is this, they only have one scale, so you basically dump, you turn around, you go right back on the scale, then you turn around again. It'd be nice if they have two scales. Uh, that scale's broken. That's exactly the same thing it said last time. Uh, better get a, a proper payout there. All right, we're headed there. Looks like somebody has a Shelby Mustang over there. That's a nice car to see in this city, that's for sure. Oh, watch out. Who parked that orange... What was that Camaro there? I don't know what that was. Who parked it there? All right, so we're pulling in over here. Pulling in, so we're at least gonna sell one more load. Now, I'll kind of explain why we need to sell one more load. I think the rest of the grain we will probably save back for feed. I think that'll be smart. There we go. So the front truck is full now. Pull ahead here and undo the tarp. Started filling already. We go watch this. I'm really liking this Wilson pup trailer I have. Kind of matches the truck, sort of. A little bit off color, but it's all red. All right, so we got the second load loaded. Let's start heading that way. We are running with this big load of grain here so we're definitely overloaded again I'm kind of glad there's no traffic because we're overloaded don't do this usually because this puts everybody at danger and I already have a bad reputation around here kind of like them cement trucks they have a reputation around here too at least to me Definitely make sure I stop and look both ways for that stop sign. There we go, flying down. This GMC just pulls this uh, pup trailer so nicely, fully loaded. That old Chevy diesel in it, barely feel it back there. I'm just kidding, that thing feels like you're carrying a house back there, but it pulls it very good and uh, ooh, man we could speed a little bit there too so that's probably not smart overweight and speeding that's yeah, probably not a good combination all right we'll start slowing down we before we get into the city limits actually we're probably already in city limits so I always like their uh, Dodge uh, sign there pretty cool looking so Definitely reminds me of all my heydays in the past. 
Who put that car? Look at that. Green light. It always seems like you get a green light for that uh, stoplight there. All right, so we're pulling in over here. I'm gonna pull up on their broken scale for I don't know what reason. Uh, still way the same, surprisingly. Unloaded and loaded. But we're headed over here. So we're above the pit now. We'll start dumping. There we go. Dump right on the hitch again. About $10,000. Alright, so now we're dumping the back hopper. So it looks like we just passed 400k there. Yeah, buddy. That was our goal. We didn't know it, so we still are owed over a hundred uh, thousand from co-op. So that should pay the bills. Actually, I think we are going to go stop here for a beverage. So we won't be doing much. We'll just to have one. So just a sh small little beverage before we go home. I'm just joking. I'm not going to do that before I drive. So we're going here. I'm really surprised with the heightened awareness of... Uh, thefts around here. Squad hasn't put away his, uh, his draper head over there. Maybe I'll have to uh, go remind him it's out in the field. We're gonna shut this all up here. Make sure everything's nice and take care of. So I, I am still worried about both my heads. So I have my McDon and I have my corn head. The only, the good thing about both of them is one, I chained it, the McDonald I chained to a tree, so either they're gonna rip my McDonald head up or take out a tree, one of the two. And uh, the corn head, I, I parked it close enough so I could chain that to a tree too, so I know it's kinda hard to steal them. Kinda have to steal a combine or some type of loader to get them. Not the McDonald because it's always on wheels, but I did lower it so it's harder for them. But I worry about them. So I did forget in my last video to thank Austin Coyle. He was the one that kind of gave us the idea for the last uh, theft video. So thank you, Austin, for that. I believe I said your name right. So this is it. This is what we're buying. A new pig lot. So this is one giant pig barn there. So just massive amounts of pigs you can have there. It also has a little uh, straw bale storage over there. Uh, definitely has a big uh, lot right here so you can park anything and everything. Kind of convenient for us. Get all of our farm equipment away from our lot and put it over here. It does have some silos put up so we can store some of the pig food like right there. Uh, we've got some uh, ground storage silo over here so also convenient so if we get some minerals or some corn wet corn or whatever we could just throw it right there and uh, just push it over here to the automatic feeders. Uh, what else does it have? Uh, automatic feeders like I just said uh, it is an enclosed uh, barn but it does have it's open right now just because there's no pigs in it uh, it has a slurry pit on the other side a big slurry pit dug in so we might be able to make some money uh, spreading some of our slurry on some of the farm fields around here so another uh, business opportunity for us I think but the most excited I am about this whole place is this garage here so I think this is the answer I have no idea why it took me so long to think of this but this is the perfect garage for our equipment
So this is the main bay of the garage and basically this is the shop area where we have majority of our tools. This is kind of the office slash tool slash uh, conference, I guess. Uh, it's where we could do our morning meetings once I get employees to help me. Upstairs is kind of where all the parts and everything are. Obviously, there's not a lot here, but there is a chainsaw right there. Uh, so yeah, just the high... Uh, so this door is extra high, so there's no issues with the combine or even a tall implement that's folded up. Just pull it right in here and work on it. Uh, super nice garage. Uh, I think this is the answer we need. I think this will work out perfect for us. Uh, the only main issue is for this whole complex, all this... So we do own on the other side of these trees right there and the highline poles. We own that little field, but everything and kind of that's covered with rocks and back there too, around the slurry pit. Uh, this they want five hundred thousand for, which I think is a killer deal. Basically, the only reason why I'm showing you this is we are about 99% sure this will happen. So right now, all the paperwork's at my lawyer, so he's checking it over just to make sure we're not going to get uh, everything is kosher between the deal, the two sides, and the landowner. So right now we're just waiting for that and the realtors to do their magic, but I'm pretty excited. We are just a few days away from owning this pig farm, I guess. So now we have a hay slash uh, semi truck lot slash uh, grain farm slash pig farm. So. The only issue with this pig farm, a lot of my grass fields, I will probably have to chisel up and start uh, planting different crops there. Pigs take a variety of food to be healthy, so I'll need more crops, just smaller amounts probably, so I can keep them fed properly. So we'll walk into the pig farm here, so this thing is just nice. Everything's immaculate. Uh, all everything is on automatic feeders, so all the poo and everything just gets uh, flushed out from the floor here it's Slightly raised above a big slurry pit and then that gets skimmed off and pushed out to the other slurry pit So pretty nice building I have to say obviously it's obviously this building has HVACs and everything to keep the pigs nice at the perfect temperature for ultimate go growth uh, I think that's about it so pretty excited about this pig lot hopefully you guys are too but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Iowa thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time